Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Upper St. Clair High School, home of the Panthers. It is boys volleyball night, the penultimate home match of the season. It's a non-section contest tonight as the Upper St. Clair Panthers welcome to our gym, the Foxes of Fox Chapel High School. I don't exactly envy the trip they had to make down here, battling this kind of traffic at this hour of the day, but here they are. The, Ch the Fox Chapel Foxes come in here with a 9-2 section record, second in their section, losing only to North Allegheny. The Panthers, of course, nailed down third place in section one last week. They are playoff bound. My name's Kevin McGahee. John Buck hold behind the camera tonight. And Fox Chapel has taken the opening salvo With a gorgeous attack, it is real early. This is set number one of a best of five match. We'll get the line up set here as the rotation is made. James Ferris in the middle, and there's James Ferris who had a sensational match last week against Bethel Park. He starts things off with the Panthers with his first attack, first kill, and us just like that, we're all knotted up at one. Oh, barely got that in. That's Billy Smith, the libero tonight. And a slicing attack from the far side. By number 27, that's Michael Eisner, a junior. No, no, not that Michael Eisner, not the one from Disney. This is a different Michael Eisner. And just like that, Fox Chapel gets the side out, the point, and they're up 2-1 very early here in set number one. We, played it, we play a set to 25 points. You win it by two. And it looks like it will be indeed a jump serve. That probably was a foot fault. I'm d they don't. The lines person was not watching. I think he stepped clearly on the white back line. Oh well. In any case, it's a St. Clair. It's a service error and an upper St. Clair point. Mitch Boring, the junior, doing the serving for St. Clair. There's a set left side, off the St. Clair block. It's still alive. We get one more shot at it. Robert Joseph taps it over. Oh, a, a near whiff by Fox Chapel. And back it comes Robert Joseph on the other side. It lands on right at the defense. Slicing attack and off the tip and out of bounds. That was number 23, Andrew Tublin. He's a sophomore for the Foxes. The team's trading points here. It's 3-2 Fox Chapel real early in the match. And it will be Andrew Tublin to the back row for the Fox Chapel serve. Another jump server coming. And that one goes long. Well, on the average, their jump serves are working just fine. One hammered into the net, one about 12 feet long. And it'll be Robert Joseph now. The rotation going quickly around here. As you know, they change servers every time there's a change in possession. It's Robert Joseph now with the St. Clair serve. Conventional little punch serve. There's the short set into the net. Apparently it's a block, yeah, blocked by Chris Howie. Not four hits, it is a block, and Chris Howie with his first block for a point, and suddenly the back-to-back -back points, and the Panthers take an early lead, 4-3. Robert Joseph again, barely over the net. That fooled the Fox Chapel defense. Now it's a free ball, Panthers. Sean Mackey with his set at the net. Oh, joust won by Fox Chapel, but it's still alive. Aiden Leahy keeping that ball in play. Now from the back row. Hard driving attack by Andrew Tublin. His first kill. All tied at four. Now with a serve, it'll be sophomore J number six, Jason Zaleski for Fox Chapel. Normally plays the middle. Good serve, Billy Smith has it. Sean Mackey with the set. Oh, it's uh, actually behind Aiden Leahy. He's had a well, it works out fine. The set was behind Aiden Leahy. He had to reach way over his head to get to it, but it did go off the fingertips of Fox Chapel over the end line, and uh, Aiden Leahy's got his first kill. Panthers with a 5-4 lead. And for the first time this season, it's Max DeYoung we see doing the serving for Upper St. Clair. First action he's seen at home, at least, all season long. Matt Shrink, number 18, with the Fox Chapel kill. His first. There we go, trading points again. This was likely to be close all the way. Very similar section records. Different sections, of course. But I suspect these teams are even strength 
Aiden Leahy, oh, but right into the Fox Chapel block. Aiden had a little bit of power on it. Back-to-back -back points gives Fox Chapel the lead back. And it's Max De Pellegrini, number five, the sophomore with the serve. Leahy gets it back off the block and down. Well, another unconventional way to look at that, but it counts. Two kills for Aiden Leahy. And it will be Sean Mackey, senior setter tonight, serving at 6-all. Over the top, there's the set. It's a back set to the right side. Slicing attack, and it, it was tipped. It landed out, but it was tipped. Once a St. Clair fingernail gets on that thing, it is a Fox Chapel point. It is Matt Shrink, the senior outside hitter. Now with a Fox Chapel serve. Foxes lead 7-6. First set. That one's going way long. We'll take that one. Three service errors so far for Fox Chapel. And it's Aiden Leahy. He's got a pretty decent jump serve. Let's see if he uses it. Looks like he will. And a good one. That's what they're supposed to do. But right back just like that, the receiving team with the advantage, and that is Andrew Tublin. Kill number two for him. 8-7, Fox Chapel leads. Back in the rotation now. Josh Tublin with the sir wearing the black libero jersey. James Ferris, they did that all night long last week against Bo uh, Bethel Park. Two kills for James Ferris. You'll see he doesn't do it with a lot of power. He does it with finesse and proper placement and comes up with a lot of points when given the chance. Billy Smith now to the barrel for St. Clair with a serve. Oh. Serving at eight all. Set left side again off the block and down. Just Mitch Boring had a look at it. But Andrew Tublin again with that kill from the left side. He looks like the go-to guy here for Fox Chapel. Nine eight Foxes. Michael Eisner left-handed with the uh, Fox Chapel serve. It'll be Mitch Boring from the right side, off two hands and into the Fox Chapel bench. Mitch Boring, the junior, with his first kill. Well, the team is not wasting any time with useless rallies here. It's sort of a <laughs> get the serve, bump, set, attack, done. And everybody's going to get a lot of chances to serve tonight, looks like. Short set. And that lays just in the back right corner. I believe that was Max De Pellegrini who got that one for Fox Chapel. And Drew Tublin, the sophomore, he's got a jump serve, has a little hop serve. It's in Aiden Leahy's. Robert Joseph into the block and out of bounds. Robert Joseph. Collecting his first kill, five, six kills for the team, four different players. And that's how the St. Clair team does it. There's no one solid go-to guy. They spread it around. That's tough for the defense. You can't key on one person. Uh, once again, that was uh, number six, Jason Zaleski. With that kill off the hands of Chris Howie and out of bounds. Side out. Point Foxes. Jason Zaleski with a serve from the back. Well, right corner as we look at it. Oh, boy. Service ace. And the St. Clair defense caught napping on that one. First ace of the match for either team. And it'll be Jason Zaleski again. Two-point lead, Fox Chapel. Sean Mackey with a set back to Aiden Leahy and into the block. It's alive. Well, almost alive, but it falls down on the St. Clair side. Aiden Leahy hit that with power, but right into the Fox Chapel block. 13-10, three-point Fox Chapel lead. Fox Chapel, of course, in the red, serving right to left on your TV screen. Sean Mackey short set, Chris Howie. But geez, hit it right at the defender. Aiden Leahy off the block. It's good. And net violation. First, first one of those we've seen. 
It was Max De Pellegrini, number five, who got in that net. You may not touch it. That net is sacred ground. And once that net is touched, it's a dead ball point for the other team. And we're zipping around here. Max De Young, sophomore defensive specialist, again with a St. Clair serve. And a good one. Left side. Goes way long. That's Matt Shrank. Who sails that one almost into the trainer's room across the hall. Panthers get two of those back. 13-12 Foxes lead in the first set. Short set. No, that lands out. It was it touched? Not touched. Well, that attack lands just out. And we are all tied up at 13. Max DeYoung. Number 26 still with a serve. And a good one. Oh, it does come back. Thought maybe he'd get an ace out of that. Now it's a free ball, Panthers. Mackey with the set, left side. Whoa, double hit called. Double hit is when too much spin gets put on the second touch on the set. You're allowed to touch with two hands, but it has to kind of float with minimum spin. It's a judgment call on the part of the official. Too much spin, it's a uh, automatic dead ball point. Fox Chapel, another service error. That is four service errors for Fox Chapel. So far, no service errors for the Panthers. And it will be Sean Mackey, the senior, serving at 14 all. A floater, a really knuckleball of a serve. This one will not come back with power. It'll be a free ball, Panthers. And we use it now. Sean Mackey with a set back set. Mitch boring off the block. Still alive. One more shot at it. Left side, and with the left hand, it goes into the James Ferris block and down. Michael Eisner, number 27, with that kill for Fox Chapel. Well, they're sprinting around too. Seven kills for Fox Chapel from five different players. Matt Schrenk, jump serve coming, and a good one. Aiden Leahy picks it up. Sean Mackey with a set back to Leahy, just touches it over, covered nicely by. Fox Chapel off the net. Left side. Oh, the set was a little too long. Two up. It was over Mitch Boring's head. Out of bounds. Back to back points for the Foxes. 16 14. This has been tight the whole way. Fox Chapel had a three point lead. That's the largest either team has had. Matt shrinking him with the serve. Jump serve and into the net he goes. Wow. Well. The Panthers picking up points on these service errors. That's five now. Six kills for the Panthers and five service errors. Aiden Leahy now with a serve. It's a jumper. Oh, my goodness, that one goes way long. First service error of the night for the Panthers. Josh Tublin, the senior libero. For the Foxes serve at 17-15. Short set left side. Robert Joseph, oh, got under it. The set again was just, was just behind him. The tip ball was called by the lines person. The ball apparently changed direction. It was going a little too fast for me. It's going to be a little conference with the official. Yes, tip ball is the official call. The linesman on the far side called it. And it'll be Point St. Clair side out. Billy Smith, the libero in the gray jersey with the uh, Panther serve. Trailing by one, 17-16 Fox Chapel. Well, it may come back yet. Wow, that was, but it came out. From my perspective, it's hard to see, but there's a red and white little pole attached to the net. That's the antenna. It was actually a hit outside of the antenna. It's out of bounds, a dead ball, and indeed results in a point for the Panthers. We are at 17 all in the first set. Not uh, much action to talk about, really. Two kills for number one, James Ferris, the senior. Aiden Leahy's got himself two. One each for senior Robert Joseph, number 23, and Mitch Boring has one. But thus far, uh, the, I just, almost a majority of the Panther points have come from 
service errors and hitting errors by Fox Chapel, and I'm sure that's what Coach Zebo is a little bit incensed about on the other side. I don't think he's liking how his offense looks. We shall see if that changes. It'll be Billy Smith again with a serve. Seventeen all, first set. A set goes to twenty-five. You have to win it by two. Little punch serve and a good one. There's a set back set to the right side and hammered into the net. By Michael Eisner and the Panther the first lead. Well, it's been ten points or so since the Panthers had a lead here. Eighteen. 17 right now. Another little floater. Short set off a. Oh, just out of bounds. I thought that was a tip ball off the Panthers defense. It was not. That one just sailed into the uh, Panthers bench. And a two point lead for the Panthers. Largest of the night for the home squad. Billy Smith again. Little short serve making the defense die for it. That's good. Free ball now. Sean Mackey with the set left side. Robert Joseph into the block and down it goes. Look at that, Robert Joseph. Looks like that little lecture by Coach Zebo. Put a little energy into his charges. They have run off four points in a row here and lead 20 to 17. And of course, as you know from these telecasts, that's exactly what you want. You get to 20, you want a little cushion of points because now the Panthers could trade points from here on out. And it's Fox Chapel in danger now. Now, can the Panthers keep it up? The Panthers actually trying for playoff position here. MSA Sports does not have the Panthers ranked in the top 10. They do have Fox Chapel as the number three ranked squad in Whoopiel, even though the Panthers have a pretty good record at eight and three in section. One more with, uh, with one match left to go on Thursday. Fox Chapel with a nine and two record so far, both those losses were to perennial powerhouse North Allegheny. So they're third ranked, and the St. Clair Panthers not in the top ten. Let's see how this turns out. Now, Billy Smith, short serve. Right side, left hand, and out of bounds it goes. And the Panthers with a goody, good little five-point run here, lead 21-17. Substitution now. Number eight on the floor is Darren Pellegrini. He's a junior. He's a defensive specialist. And Billy Smith now with that serve. Goes right to him and with the left hand. Oh, Billy Smith nails that one. Sean Mackey with a short set. Yeah, double hit called. Yeah, somebody missed the play there. The Panthers had a pretty good look at it and could have used that point. But it's side out. Point Fox Chapel. Number two, another substitution for Fox Chapel. Number two on the on the floor, Matt Herman. He's a sophomore and will be back to do the serving right now. Now the Panthers needing to just keep their head together here and close this dog on set one out. Needing four to do that. Short set, Chris Howie out at the net. Oh, Chris Howie lost the joust to Max De Pellegrini. That joust where you both get hands on the ball. Panthers to lead by two, 21-19. Matt Herman with a serve. Short set, Chris Howie. That time, he whistles it down. And Chris Howie, oddly enough, with his first kill, that was a screamer. Low and hard. And landed just inside the back row. Now it's Mitch Boring serving to 22-19. Panthers need three. There's the set from the left side. Billy Smith got it, the overpass. Where does it land? Lands out. Good effort by Billy Smith, but it landed just over the net. Oh, it's Panther point. My guess is that left. That went all the way over the net and landed on a Fox Chapel player standing just inside the sideline. 
But Mitch Boring gets that serve just barely over the net. It goes. And Robert Joseph, oh, didn't quite get it. Net violation. Wow, looking good. Panthers now with five set points in hand at 24-19. Mitch Boring still serving, and Fox Chapel still substituting. Number 10 on the floor now, senior Griffin Burke. He's listed as a setter. Let's see what his position is going to be. I'm sure they're just looking for some defense now to get this bump set attack and get a couple of points here and get back in this set left side. Just tapped, just tapped over. Covered nicely by Mitch Boring. Robert Joseph. Over it goes. And Robert Joseph closing out set number one. Well, the team's traded points early on, and the Panthers came roaring back to take set number one, 25-19. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back for the second set. Kevin McGahee back with you. John Buck Holt behind the camera. And it is Monday night. It's an odd night for us. Monday, we don't need to play a lot on Mondays. But it's Monday, May 6th. And it is the Upper St. Clair Panthers in black playing right to left in this set against the Foxes from Fox Chapel High from Section 2. They're in the red going left to right. It's a non-section contest tonight. And you just saw the Panthers take away set number 125-19. Now, and that... That did not happen until Jack Zebo, the coach, launched on his charges, and they made a pretty good run to finish off set number one. Meanwhile, here we go with set two, and there's a first server, there's a service error. That is 18 Matt Shrink responsible for that. Six service errors for Fox Chapel. Here at senior number 12, Aiden Leahy now. He's also got a jump serve. Let's see if he can get it. He's had a good success so far tonight. There's another good one. Way, way up in the rafters. Short set, though, down in the block. And number 22, Matt D'Amico, the junior middle hitter, takes credit for that kill, his first. Josh Tublin, senior libero with the Fox Chapel serve, all tied up at one here in the second set. Sean Mackey with the bump set. Robert Joseph off the block and down it goes. Not covered by the Foxes. And that is four kills tonight for Robert Joseph to lead all St. Clair attackers. It's 2-1 here in the second set. Billy Smith, the sophomore libero. He's got a little punch serve, a little knuckle thing. Works fine. From the right side off the block, it's playable. Sean Mackey with a set, left side, Robert Joseph again, and down it goes. Robert Joseph, look at that. Mercy, 3-1 now, Panthers. Billy Smith again, a little punch serve just over the net it goes. Right side off the block, oh, not covered. Aiden Leahy made a stab at it, but not covered. I think that was Michael Eisner, number 27, with the kill, his second. And he will get the serve. 3-2, Panthers lead. Second set, left-handed serve from Eisner. Short set, Chris Howie. Uh, he was, set was a little awkward for him, but then now free ball for the Panthers. Here's another chance for redemption. Short set that time. That's what we were looking for the first time. That set was delicious, and Chris Howie finishes it off with a power slicing attack to that back left corner. Mitch Boring up now with a 4-2 lead. Good serve. Set short set, and Chris Howie with the block. Lands in, Chris Howie. Two blocks for points tonight, and the Panthers off to a good start, just like they finished up the previous set. It's a 5-2 lead, long way to go here, but... This has been a different team since Coach Zebo read on the riot act two-thirds of the way through that first set. Mitch Boring. Lazy top spin serve. Left side. Set was actually over Andrew Tublin's head. He had to reach back for that, much as we saw Aiden Leahy do in the first set. That's his fourth kill, but the first one he's first he's had in quite a long time. Panthers still lead by two, 5-3. 
And that is Tublin with the serve. Oh, brother. Well, Chris I was trying to fool him with a stuff shot on the second touch. Didn't quite work. Back to back points for Fox Chapel. And it is Andrew Tublin with the serve. From the back row, Aiden Leahy, but into the net. And just like that, the three-point Panther lead becomes a tie. We're all knotted up at five. Andrew Tublin, line drive servo boy at the net. Yep, Sean Mackey. I think he was trying to decide whether to go over the net on the second touch or set it. He chose to set it, put too much spin on it. That's a double hit. Point Fox Chapel, and that's just like that. It's a four-point run for the Foxes. Panthers needing to break this one right here and now. Good serve. Sean Mackey with the set. Robert Joseph, but it lands right back on the St. Clair side. Robert Joseph hit it right into the double block. 7-5, two-point Fox Chapel lead, and that's a five-point run now. Tublin yet again. Another good serve. Robert Joseph, with tremendous dig by the libero, and from the back row, off two hands and over the back line. And Fox Chapel with a three-point lead and a six-point run. Tublin again. Robert Joseph slicing attack would have gone out of bounds. Fox Chapel chose to play it. It'll be a free. No, it won't. It'll be way over the end line. And that string of points is now broken. Now can the Panthers get back in this? It's only a two-point deficit. It's 8-6. Fox's lead. Robert Joseph to the back row for the St. Clair serve. Punch serve just rolls over the net. Oh, my. If you could just teach that every time. Oh, well placed by Robert Joseph and the first service ace of the match for the Panthers. Each team has one now. 8-7 Panthers leading the second set. Here's a quick scoring summary as a timeout is taken by Coach O'Keefe from Fox Chapel. Robert Joseph leading all St. Clair attackers with five kills. Two each for the senior number one, James Ferris. Chris Howey, number eight, he's got two. Aiden Leahy, number 12, he's got two. And Mitch Boring, the junior, number 24, he has one. You just saw that first ace of the night off the hands of Robert Joseph and Chris Howey has two blocks for points. That's the offense, and you probably saw, if you're watching this closely, in the first set, it was errors by Fox Chapel that gave the Panthers about half their points. Not that many errors this time for Fox Chapel. My guess is the Panthers are gonna have to earn this one. Robert Joseph with the serve. We are ready to go. Little backspin number on that serve. Off the block, it's playable. Sean Mackey with a quick set, Chris Howie. Jamming it down. Tremendous little set by Sean Mackey on the assist. And the Panthers have a three-point run of their own going now. And we are tied up at eight. Robert Joseph to serve. That back spin again. Set left side over the net. Oh, my goodness. Robert Joseph with a tremendous dig. And it goes long. Wow. Robert Joseph. You'll love to see that kind of activity. The guy's risking floor burns to keep that ball in play. And it's a four-point run for the Panthers. Now a 9-8 lead at the net. Yes, Chris Howie did it. Apparently nobody touched that net. I thought somebody was going to get a few molecules of jersey on that. It didn't work out. And Chris Howie... Great placement and his fourth kill. Two-point Panther lead and a five-point run now for Robert Joseph. Hard driving serve. 
Left side set and a good one off the block. Another round of it right side this time. Oh my goodness, Billy Smith. Aiden Leahy, oh, but right into the block. Of number six for Fox Chapel, that's Jason Zaleski. Wow, nice little run by the Panthers. Home team leads 10-9. Substitution on the floor, number nine. Ben De Pellegrini. There's three of those De Pellegrinis on this team. This one's a sophomore, and he will be doing the serving. Oh, he's got a jump serve to go with it. And a good one. Robert Joseph has it. Quick set. Aiden Leahy touching the ball over. Had to hit, put a little too much air underneath it. Sean Mackey from the back row. It'll be Mitch Boring. Oh! Oh, free ball. Thought we could catch one there. Short set, Chris Howie, but right into the Fox Chapel block. Wow, Chris Howie, if he just sliced that one a little bit, would have had a point. As it stands, we are all tied up at 10. Ben De Pellegrini jump serve again. And a good one, it goes over the overpass. Taken care of by Matt D'Amico, his second kill. That overpass will get you. I know there was a there was a high velocity serve, but that first pass has got to come to your own setter and not the other guys. Well, in any case, Fox Chapel has a lead back at 11-10. Jump serve again and a good one. There's that's what the, that's what Billy Smith needs to be doing. Aiden Leahy off the block and down it goes. Aiden Leahy. Not with power. A little roller off the fingertips and down it goes. And it's an 11 all. Second set. This is just like the first set turned out. The teams basically traded points until right about this time when the Panthers started to pull away. Sophomore Max DeYoung again in for some defensive play. And the serve. Oh, that set was really low. Not much Matt D'Amico could do about that for Fox Chapel. De Young again with a serve and a good one. Hard driving, sort of a knuckler. Again, that set was behind the attacker, but he found that open, he sliced it to the back right side. Found an open spot on that polyurethane floor. Point and side out, Fox Chapel. Where Max De Pellegrini, the sophomore in the family. Another sophomore, they might be twins for all I know. He's got the serve. Robert Joseph has it. Sean Mackey with a set. Well, it didn't go quick. Well, sometimes life just has a way of working itself out. And Aiden Leahy just put a wrist on that thing and found an open spot in the back right of the Fox Chapel defense. Gets credit, credit for one of the, well, oddest kills I've seen in a while. But it counts. Every point counts. Every point, a needed and wanted point. It's 13-12 Panthers. Sean Mackey with a serve. Quick set. And down it goes. Robert Joseph taking a whiff at it. Off his fingers and out of bounds. And here we are. Tied up at 13. Trading points. Darren Pellegrini, number 18. The junior in the family. Serving for the Foxes. Top spin serve. A bump. Set, Mitch Boring with the attack and the kill. His second tonight. It'll be Aiden Leahy, he of the jump serve. All three of his have landed in so far. I think it's only three. Have landed in so far tonight. He'll get a chance with another one. Oh, I jinxed him. I should have kept my mouth shut. Sorry, Aiden. We are in, it'll be a, a side out. Point Fox Chapel. And the libero, Josh Tublin, with the Fox Chapel serve. Only the second service error tonight for the Panthers. The serving has been really good. There's the set. Robert Joseph put into the block and out of bounds. Robert Joseph, six kills tonight for Robert. And here we are trading points. Nobody can seem to get away from the other here. Fox Chapel had an early 
I think it was a four-point lead. St. Clair had a three-point lead. They were eaten up. And right now, we're all tied up and trading points. Sean Mackey, oh, too bad. Somebody from St. Clair got, gave us a net disturbance there. That violation's a point for Fox Chapel, side out and serve. And subbing in is Matt Herman again. He's a senior outside, or sorry, sophomore outside hitter. Good serve. Oh, brother, another violation. Panthers can't be giving up free points here. That's back to back at the net. And Fox Chapel gets a couple of freebies. Hard driving serve. Short set. Oh, Chris Howie, but just did not find an open spot. Well, make that three net violations back to back to back. And Fox Chapel with a 17 15 lead. Good serve, good set, another double hit, wow. Three double hits for Sean Mackey. In his defense, he's not the starting setter. That would be Michael Lynch, who has been laid low by mononucleosis here for the past three or four weeks. But basically, that is four giveaways in a row by the Upper St. Clair Panthers, and the Fox Chapel Foxes have the lead 18-15 here in the second set. It was right around this point in the last set that Coach Zebo took a timeout, inflamed his charges, and we came roaring back to win set number one. Let's see if he's got the same magic and can cool down this squad here that's been three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back net violations followed by the double hit call. And it is still... Fox Chapel serve. Matt Herman now. Can the Panthers mount an attack here? 18-15, three-point Fox lead. Good serve, old brother at the net and the overpass. Andrew Tublin. Credit for that one, the pass too far at the net. And now the Panthers in a bit of trouble here at, with a 19-15 deficit. Herman again, good serve and no one to cover. Robert Joseph had it, popped it up. And some confusion back there and it is, my goodness, a five point. Fox Chapel run, 20 to 15, Panthers trail by five. Well, there's one for us. Now can the Panthers put something together here? It's 20 to 16. We trail by four. We've dug ourselves out of these holes before, subbing on the floor. Four, Fox Chapel's number 27, Michael Eisner. But it will be Mitch Boring, the junior, with the St. Clair serve. And a good one, my goodness, an ace. That just fooled the Fox Chapel defense. Well, there's one of them. Panthers still need three to tie. 20 to 17, Fox Chapel. Mitch Boring with a serve. Good top spin number. Conventional set, short set, and off of Aiden Leahy's shoulder it goes. Andrew Tublin with a four-point lead and the serve for Fox Chapel. And a decent one. It'll be Robert Joseph with the attempt. Left side, the serve, yeah, the set actually went, set went over the head of Darren Pellegrini. He hit it into the net. That's a four hit. You only get three. The four hit means St. Clair won that point and still trail by three, 
Robert Joseph with the serve. Little line driver off the net that's playable. Left side. Oh, that would have gone out, but Billy Smith played it. That's a free ball now, Fox Chapel. At the net, short set, and down it goes. Not much you can do about that. But that was Jason Zaleski. Twenty-two, eighteen. Panthers not content to trade points here. Number nine subs back on the floor. This is Ben De Pellegrini, one of the sophomore, I guess, the twins. Four-point deficit, Panthers. Twenty-two, eighteen. Jump serve and a good one. Billy Smith pops it up. There's the set. Aiden Leahy. That's well. There again, the set was over Aiden Leahy's head. That was really good work for him to stretch way back and come up with that thing and land it on the floor of the Fox Chapel defense. Now, can the Panthers get three? It's Max DeYoung again. The sophomore. Serve off the net. It is playable. And stuffed back down by James Ferris. Right place right time Panthers trail by two 22 20 these sets go to 25 you have to win them by two Max DeYoung serve Robert Joseph digging that one off the floor who's got it in Leahy ah it's a free ball Fox Chapel left side off the net Oh, a double hit called again. Oh, too bad. Oh, nice rally by the Panthers, but it goes Fox Chapel's way when the Panthers were desperate for a point. 23-20. Max De Pellegrini, the other sophomore. Good serve. On the second touch, Sean Mackey with a kill. You don't often see the setter get him. He got himself one now. Can he get us a couple of miracle serves here? Panthers need two to tie up the second set and dig themselves out of this hole. It's a good serve with a sideways twist to it. Yeah, well, not much they could do about that. That's Matt D'Amico for Fox Chop with his third kill now. The, the Foxes have three set points in hand. It's 24-21. Any one of the next three that goes their way, this set is over. Panthers needing some nifty defense here. They have the advantage. They get the first bump set. Well, they don't even need that. That's the eighth service error for Fox Chapel. But the Panthers still need two. And that's going to mean some nifty defense. What can the Panthers get together here? Balloon ball of a serve. Back set, right side of Billy Smith. Took a good whack at it, but that will finish off set number two that goes Fox Chapel's way. 25-22, we're tied up at a set apiece. We'll be right back for the third set. Stay with us, everybody. All righty then, thanks for that quick six millisecond break. It was actually a nice three-minute pause for my voice here. Kevin McGay, he's still here with you. John Buckholt behind the camera. And just like that, we are all knotted up at one set apiece here in this non-section match between the Fox Chapel Foxes in red and the homestanding Panthers of Upper St. Clair in their usual home black jerseys. Robert Joseph leading all attackers with six kills. Aiden Leahy not far behind. Number 12, he's got five. Chris Howie with four. Mitch Boring with two. James Ferris only has two. James Ferris had his breakout match last week against Bethel Park, where I think he collected 18 kills in a five-set match. But now this one right here is a best of three. We'll see who's got the intestinal fortitude to keep things up. It's been close the whole way, just as advertised, just as I thought when we started this match. But the Panthers in this last set created a little bit of a hole for them. They could not dig their way out and traded points. Fox Chapel coming away, of course, with a three-point victory at 25-22. Let's see. Uh, we seem to be all set here. 
No major person, no, pierce, no personnel changes for the Panthers. Foxes do a lot of substituting. It'll be senior Aiden Leahy. It will be the jump serve and a good one. But dragged off the floor from the left side. Like he's been doing all night long from that left side position, Andrew Tublin. Gets kill number seven, and Fox Chapel opens up the scoring in the third set. Josh Tublin, senior libero, little pooch serve. Billy Smith picks it up from the back row. It'll be a free ball. Fox Chapel right side, and down it goes from the left-hander, Michael Eisner. Three kills for Eisner and a 2-0 Fox Chapel lead. Good serve. Aiden Leahy picks it up. Mitch Boring. Oh, he had a good look at it. Sailed it wide into the Fox Chapel bench. Fox's lead, 3-0. Josh Tublin still with a Fox Chapel serve. And a good one. Sean Mackey with a set and a good set. Robert Joseph into the block and, oh, it lands in. I had a bad perspective at it, but it lands just inside the far sideline off the Fox Chapel block. 4-0. Panthers need to get off the schneid. Tublin again with a serve. And a free ball for the Foxes. There's the set, short set, and down it goes. Wow, Jason Zaleski. Panthers need to get that first pass off the floor and into the hands of the setter here. Foxes claim the first five points of the third set. Mitch Boring on aim of the free ball, and it does not go over the net. It goes into the net instead. Panthers yet to score in this third set. Six in a row for Fox Chapel. And it's still Josh Tublin with a serve. Well, <clears throat> James Ferris didn't, did what he could with that, but he walloped that one into the net. Now it's a seven point run for Fox Chapel to start the third set. That was low. Robert Joseph tapped it over to yet another free ball for Fox Chapel. And down it goes. Andrew Tublin. Eight kills for Andrew. And eight points in a row for Fox Chapel. Substitution junior Kyle Austin comes in. Substitutes for Sean Mackey to do a little serving. Again, our our. our Starting varsity setter, Michael Lynch is laid low with mono, and that is a service ace for Fox Chapel. Their second of the match. And the Panthers have dug themselves a nine-point hole here to start the third set. And there we go. There well, we're off the schneid. Kyle Austin with the set. James Ferris with the put away his third kill. And the Panthers are finally on the board here in the third set. Billy Smith now with the serve. Back set right side and way up high with that left hand is Michael Eisner. Four kills for Eisner. The lead is nine, 10-1. Fox Chapel. Oh. 
Mitch Boring into the block. Andrew Tublin. Michael Eisner with a left-handed serve. Chris Howey finding pay dirt off the Kyle Austin set. Chris Howey, five kills. Panthers trail by nine, 11-2. Mitch Boring with a serve. Top spin number. From the back row, right side. Oh my, Chris Howey had a pretty good set, but sailed it about four feet long. Over the end line. 12-2 is the Fox Chapel lead substitution now on the floor, number 18. Matt Shrink, he's been on the bench a while. He's back in. Kyle Austin with the set from the back row. Oh my goodness, Robert Joseph hammers it long. The deficit is now 11. It's 13 2. Fox Chapel. Andrew Tublin with the serve. Robert Joseph, it's way up in the rafters, and it is playable from the back row. Billy Smith, tremendous dig, but it'll end up being a free ball for Fox. Chow. Well, it won't at that. Aiden Leahy got it and uh, lofted it wide. On the far side near the Fox Chapel bench, 14-2. Fox Chapel leads. Knuckleball of a serve. And on the second tap, Kyle Austin on the second touch gets his first kill of the night. Panthers get the point and the side out, and it's 14-3. Robert Joseph with a St. Clair serve. And a good one. That will not come well. It does come back with power at that. Mitch Boring from the back row. Short set, and Robert Joseph doing what he could with that one, but my goodness, Jason Zaleski doing himself a little damage. On the floor, back on the floor rather, for uh, Fox Chapel is sophomore Ben Pelle Di Pellegrini, number nine, and he will be serving. The jump serve and a good one. Billy Smith has it. And Aiden Leahy hammers it long, not, not by much. Substitution, first time we've seen him tonight. Number 14, sophomore Brad Kolditz checks in. Senior Aiden Leahy goes out. Ben De Pellegrini again. The Fox Chapel lead is 13, 16, 3. And a service ace that lands just inside the back row. That's how you want it to happen. The defense was frozen in place, thinking that was probably going to go out. It did not. Ben De Pellegrini again. Billy Smith has it left side. Brad Kolditz. It'll be a free ball for Fox Chapel. There's the set, short set, and there it is. Hammer to the back, right corner. Well, this is a set the Panthers, I'm sure, would just as soon have over and forget and move on to set number four. 18-3 is the 15-point Fox Chapel lead. And Fox Chapel gets the free ball again. Kyle Austin, Brad Kolditz, but right into the block and out of bounds. Well, Brad Kolditz had one with power, but it went right into the Fox Chapel double block.
And to Pellegrini again with a jump serve just over the net. And it is an ace. Robert Joseph had to play that. It was right on the near sideline. Uh, who knows, might have gone out. But Robert could not take the chance. He played it, and it ends up being an ace. And a 17-point lead at 20-3, Fox Chapel. And finally, that run of points is broken. Panthers get credit get the uh, credit for the point on the service error. That's nine service errors on the night for Fox Chapel. There's only been two for the Panthers. That part of the game has worked all night long. Max DeYoung, good serve. There's the set left side, way up high off the James Ferris block. It is still playable. Left side, Brad Colditz, but again, right into the block. My goodness, that's amazing that it actually came back. Went off the block, hit off the top of the net, came right back. And the Foxes, four points from taking away the third set. This will not be the deciding set. There's still more volleyball left to play here. Left side, Kolditz again off the tip and over the end line. There we go. Brad Kolditz on cork. Now he's got his first kill. Eight players in the book tonight with kills. Kyle Austin. With the Panthers serve, nothing fancy about it. Right side. Uh, I guess it was blocked by James Ferris off of Fox Chapel, hand and out of bounds. It's hard to see whether it was actually into the net or it was touched by James Ferris. Apparently it was. And Kyle Austin again with the serve. On the floor, we've seen it before. Matt Herman is on. And Matt Shrink. The senior number 18 for Fox Chapel will take a break. Back set right side and the block. Brad Kolitz getting in the scorebook here with a kill and a block. Kyle Austin again with the St. Clair serve at the net. Oh, covered nicely by Robert Joseph. Back set right side by Mitch Boring. Oh, it landed on the Fox Chapel side. I thought that came back to the St. Clair side. Mitch Boring with kill number three. And the Panthers have strung a few together here at least. It's 21-8, still a 13-point deficit for the first time today. Matt, Matt Friday, a freshman, number 16 on the floor for St. Clair and Kyle Austin. Loft to serve to the near side out of bounds. Third service error of the night for the Panthers. Fox Chapel with a big lead. Matt Herman the serve. The driving serve, Billy Smith picks it up. Short set, James Ferris did not find pay dirt. That one does though. That is Michael Eisner again. Five kills for him, and uh, Fox Chapel needing two to close out set number three here. See if the Panthers can pile up a few more points. Matt Herman again. Good serve, Brad Colditz. Short set, James Ferris off a tip and out of bounds. James Ferris, four kills tonight for him. Brad Colditz. With the Panther serve. There's a setback set right side. Just touched over by Eisner. And yeah, well, here on that second touch again, Billy Smith is not a setter. But he put too much spin on it. That's a double hit call. Fox Chapel at 24-9 with a ton of set points in hand, and it will be Josh Tublin again. The senior libero with the Fox Chapel serve for the set.
Robert Joseph lofts it over. A oh, net violation. How did that happen? We'll take it, and the Panthers make double figures now, 24-10. And it will be Billy Smith with the St. Clair serve. The right side. Yeah, out of bounds. Sure enough. Let's see the Panthers put in a good showing here in this third sec, yeah, third set. Billy Smith again. Short set covered by Robert Joseph. Oh my, Panthers not quite ready for that. Matt Herman gets credit for the, what? The world's softest kill, but that is that. That's a set that is better left to the record books. Fox Chapel takes it away 25-11. Stay with us, everybody. There's still more volleyball left to play. We'll be right back for set number four. We are back after that frightful third set in this match. All is not lost. It's a two set to one lead for Fox Chapel. The Panthers with a big opportunity to come roaring back here and force this to five. Let's see. Yeah, nope, no personnel change. It's the same we started with in the second set. It'll be Fox Chapel in the red playing left to right. It'll be the upper, it'll be your Panthers in the black playing right to left here in set number four. Panthers took the first set, 25-19. Uh, Fox Chapel came back to barely take set number two, 25-22. And of course, you just saw them take the third set, 25-11 for a two set to one lead. I'm Kevin McGahee, John Buck Holt behind the camera. And it's our real pleasure to bring you this non-section contest. But it's a pretty good tune-up for the playoffs. The Panthers have two matches left tomorrow night and the final section match on Thursday here against Moon. Short set and James Ferris to open up the scoring. In this fourth set, James Ferris with his fifth kill. Four players with five kills, nobody in double figures for the Panthers. Aiden Leahy now. See if we can get one up for us on the jump serve here. But why don't I keep my mouth shut? Aiden hammers that one into the net. Service error. Side out and point foxes. Josh Tublin. With the Fox Chapel serve. Robert Joseph. Oh, it's off the basketball rim. Will it come back? What was the call exactly? A double hit was the call. Sorry, I was looking the other way. Double hit called. Panthers get credit for the point, and it's Billy Smith, the libero. Unusual set. Well, Michael Iser ends up putting it away. But that set was over his head. Off Aiden Leahy's hands over the back line. And we're all tied up at two. And it is Eisner with that left-handed serve. It'll be Aiden Leahy from the back row. Left side. Big hammer and attack by Andrew Tublin. The kill leader for Fox Chapel with nine tonight. And a 3-2 lead for the Foxes. Just pooched it over the net, recovered by Mitch Boring. Robert Joseph. Off a fingernail and down, Robert Joseph. The kill leader tonight for the Panthers, but only with seven. Mitch Boring, the junior now back for the St. Clair serve. Serving at three all. Set at the net, short set, and the Chris Howie block. Oh, Chris should have put that one away probably, but we are still in business until Andrew Tublin takes care of things. 10 kills now for Andrew. Four three Fox Chapel Andrew Tublin to the back row with a serve. I think he's got a jump serve coming up. 
He's certainly far enough back. Not really, he didn't use the jump surf. At the net, on the second touch. Kyle Austin gets kill number two. Everybody's expecting that to be a set. Instead, he put it right in the center of the, of the uh, Fox Chapel defense. And it will be senior Robert Joseph serving at four all. No, it'll be a free ball, Panthers. Good. Now can we use this? We got a quick lead here. Short set. Chris Howie right into the right into the block again. Left side off the net. It's playable. No oh, double hit called by on uh, Kyle Austin rather. Well, I hate to see the point giveaways like that, but it's still early. It is not the deciding fourth set. Panthers can win this if we can go to five. Ben De Pellegrini, sophomore, checks in and serves. Billy Smith has it, and another double hit called again. Smith is not a setter, so you have to excuse him for that. But there's way too much spin on that ball. Foxes lead by two, six, four. That will be a jump serve and a good one. Billy Smith brings it up. Chris Howie tries to put it away. It is still playable. Well, wow, good defense by Fox Chapel. Howie again, but right into the block. Aiden Leahy into the block. From the back row, it sails long. And the Panthers get the point and the side out. Max DeYoung. Sophomore, good serve. From the back row, just pooched over free ball, Panthers. Aiden Leahy gets it to go down. It's been a while since Aiden had one, but that is kill number six. And we are all tied up at six. Max DeYoung again. With the St. Clair serve. Left side. Blocked and unfortunately out of bounds over the Fox Chapel bench. That point will belong to the Foxes. 7-6. Panthers need to hang close here and get a big, well, even a little run of points will do. Chris Howie takes a break as does Max DeYoung. Max De Pellegrini with the Fox Chapel serve. Hey, Den Leahy. Everybody thought James Ferris was going to get that one and out of nowhere. Comes the guy in the red headband and puts that one away with a screamer down to the back right corner. Kyle Austin, our setter, steps back for the St. Clair serve, serving at 7 all. Pooches it right over the net. Setter has it left side. No power. Panthers free ball. James Ferris. Oh, my. Tremendous dig by Max De Pellegrini for Fox Chapel. Leahy, it is playable. Mitch Boring now. Good little rally here. One of the better we've seen tonight. And all oh, way over and out of bounds it goes. Matt Herman's got to get himself out of the weight room. He did some damage to that ball. He hit it so hard. Panthers get the point and an 8-7 lead. Just over the net. Back to the left side. Where'd that come from? That was Michael Eisner. Just I, he, he stroked that ball under the net. Kyle Austin again with the serve. Panthers lead by two, 
Off the tip, oh, over the end line. Is off the block. Billy Smith had a good run at it. But not enough to bring it back. Point and side out. Fox Chapel. Matt Herman. The sophomore. Good serve, good dig by Robert Joseph and James Foe. James Ferris hustled it long. He had a good look at it, but there just ain't enough gravity on that side of the court apparently, and we are all tied up at nine. Short set, James Ferris, but into the block this time. Doggone it. Well, Fox Chapel's playing some pretty decent defense. Pants have to find a way to hit the, uh, to get these hits around those blocks. Fox is at the lead back. It's 10-9. They're in control of the serve, and it's Matt Herman delivering the ball. Just off the net. Oh, my. Well, you, you could just roll it off the net every time. That would work, but that's five aces now on the night for Fox Chapel and a two-point lead at 11-9. It's boring. It, it's off two hands. Will it come back? Yes, free ball Panthers, though. Aiden Leahy. Well, not a great set. Uh, the timing was off. Aiden Leahy was well on his way toward the net. The set was a little bit over his head. He had to reach way back. And that, when you do that, you almost always sail it long. That's exactly what happened. And the Fox is now with a three-point lead at 12-9. Right side, Aiden Leahy into the block. Covered by Robert Joseph. Mitch boring into the block and not coverable that time. My goodness, the Fox Chapel defense is making the hitting lane. They're just closing down. The hitting lanes for the Panthers. The lead is now 4 13 9. Timeout taken by Coach Zebo. Well, the Panthers safely in the playoffs. What they're trying to do tonight is improve their playoff position. Panthers have pretty much nailed down third place in Section 1. But as of tonight, they are not ranked in the top 10, at least by MSA Sports. So. We'll probably have to travel for our for opening playoff match unless we can come back and win this one. Fox Chapel rated number three, by the way, in the MSA top ten this week. Their only section losses to traditional powerhouse North Allegheny, and they've done some damage to the rest of their section. That's section two. We play in section one. Panthers could use a few points right now. Robert Joseph and Aiden Leahy tied for the team lead with seven kills each. Meanwhile, it is still Matt Herman with the Fox Chapel serve. Aiden Leahy had a good look at it, but it's in the net, and the deficit's now 5, 14-9. And here again, the Panthers have dug themselves a little bit of a hole. Short set, Mitch Boring punches it over the net, no power. Back set, right side. The block by James Ferris. Right place, right time, and that's one of them back. Panthers still trail by four, 14-10. Aiden Leahy, jump serve, but not with a lot of power. Comes across kind of softly. Yes, they hit the antenna. That red and white striped stick on the far side of the net. That's out of bounds. Point St. Clair. Aiden Leahy again. Quick set off the James Ferris block and down. It goes. That's Matt D'Amico, number 22. Four kills for Matt. The lead is four for Fox Chapel, 15-11. Panthers needing points to get this set and take us to the fifth and deciding set. 
Well, that one was the old Zeppelin ball. Didn't have quite enough helium in it. Of course, the helium strategic reserve is low anyway, but that one lands way far on the Fox Chapel side. Point side out Panthers. Billy Smith now serving at 15-12 Foxes. Well, a well-placed attack by Andrew Tublin. Thought maybe that set was going to go over his head and that he would sail it long. He did not. Found a good spot in the back left corner. It'll be Michael Eisner now with the Fox Chapel serve. Robert Joseph with the attack and a off two hands and into the Fox Chapel bench it goes. Robert Joseph. Eight kills, Panthers not really able to trade points right now, but a nice short three-point run would be just what the doctor ordered. At the net. It's bumped up and Aiden Leahy, oh brother, too bad. Aiden Leahy drew a good beat on it. Hit it into the net. Seventeen, thirteen. Fox Chapel substitution. Be yes, coming in now. Number eighteen. We've seen it before. Matt Shrink comes in. Stephen Schwartz heads out. Andrew Tublin, good serve. Robert Joseph has it. Chris Howie had it, and off a block and down, off it goes into the St. Clair bench. Eighteen thirteen, five point Fox Chapel lead. Andrew Tublin, again with a served rule, just rolls it over the net and it's an ace. Well, when you do that, it throws the, de the defensive timing goes way off. You can't, you can't coach that kind of stuff, but it works. Six point lead now, Fox Chapel 19-13. Sean Mackey checks back in to do some setting. Kyle Austin did uh, pretty good service while he was in. Short set, Chris Howie into the net. Well, the Panthers needing points now. That lead is just all of a sudden stretched to seven. It's 20 to 13, Fox Chapel. Aiden Leahy, Sean Mackey with the set. Leahy back again and sails it just wide toward the Fox Chapel bench. Number 16, Jared Brown checks in. He was a starter earlier in the season. We hadn't seen him at all tonight. He'll get a little bit of playing time here. Panthers trail by eight, 21-13. Andrew Tublin with the serve. Short set, Jared Brown gets the attack attempt, but it goes right to the defender again. Tublin finally sails one long, and the Panthers get the point back. 21-14. What has Robert Joseph got up his sleeve then? Panther needs some pretty good defense right now. Good so Wow, that's what he's got up his sleeve. Good serve by Robert Joseph. Handcuffed. Wow. Handcuffed to Andrew Tubble. You don't know whether to hit, bump it or bring your hands up. Well, the serving gods giveth and the serving gods taketh away. That one in the net. Now the Panthers in some difficulty here. Trailing by seven, 22-15. A set goes to 25. Fox Chapel needs only three. On the floor for the uh, second time, I guess. Matt Friday, a freshman. Brad Kolditz, number 14, checks in for the Panthers. And it's Ben De Pellegrini with a jump serve. And a good one. Robert Joseph handles it. There's the bump. 
And Brad Coles tries to tip it over, but into the inevitable Fox Chapel block. 23-15. Good serve, and it does come back. Nicely recovered by Mitch Boring. Another, well, another good whack at it, but that heads into the uh, Fox Chapel bench. And now the Foxes with nine match points in hand here. Any one of the next nine that goes their way ends this match tonight. 24-15, jump serve. Short set, Jared Brown just over it goes. Sean Mackey with a set. Brad Kolditz will have a chance at it. Mitch, boring. Oh my goodness, it works. Wow, well placed by Mitch, boring. All he wanted to do was keep that in play, but it ends up being a, a point, a kill, and it's Jared Brown now to the back row for the St. Clair serve. Panthers trail by eight. And that brings the match shrink with the final attack of the night. Brings this match to an end. Fox Chapel comes all the way here, crossing the river to do it, and comes into our gym and comes away, goes away with a 3-1 victory. By scores of 25-19 Panthers, 25-22 Fox Chapel, 25-11 Fox Chapel, and I think that was 25-14. Uh, Robert Joseph, the attack leader for the Panthers with eight kills tonight. Aiden Leahy with seven, Chris Howie with five, and James Ferris with five. I'm Kevin McGahey. John Buckhold has been your videographer all night long. We're glad you were with us for Upper St. Clair Boys Volleyball. One match left to go. We hope you'll stay with us for further Boys Volleyball. Thanks for watching, everybody and good night.